Hi guys, my name is Elise Coleman. I am an herbalist and welcome to the spiritual family. So today I want to review an herbal resource that I got. I love sharing things with you. This is not sponsored. This is not an affiliate link, but just a book. So I have a section of my business called Spiritual Herbalism School. I currently have a course, Viral Protection. Um, but aside from that, I love to just give free herbal education via platforms like this. So today I'm going to be talking about the Holistic Guide to Wellness. This is by Dr. Nicole Appellian. She is amazing. She consults with Indies, PhDs, herbalists, clinical herbalists, traditional Chinese medicine, um, and she makes these guides. So this is herbal protocols for common ailments. Now, let me tell you why I love protocols. So for protocols, in my opinion, they're like a guide or a map way to manage and support the body in various different ways. So for example, if somebody has allergies, they'll often come to me as an herbalist and say, do you have a tea? Do you have a tincture? And sure, I do, um, and it works pretty well. But if they find that those allergies are consistently pervasive or they have other issues going on with them, you might want to start looking at a protocol to support your body and help. And that's exactly what this is. So a protocol basically tells you how to identify something, um, what to look for, frequency, and what things you need to bring into your body or environment or even your uh, mental and emotional health to help you transform said illness, right? So let me just talk a little bit about this book. So it gives a protocol and basically for every ailment you can think of. So these little blue tabs right here, these will tell you what the protocol is. So for example, they have a candida protocol, which is yeast, protocols for menopause, depression, brain and nervous system, anxiety and stress, parasites, Lyme disease, fungal infections, flu, viral, and immune system protocols, and everything from your basic flu, COVID, HIV, herpes, anything that's viral, Epstein-Barr, that would be in that section, bacterial infections, thyroid protocols, type 2 diabetes, weight loss, adrenal fatigue, ulcer protocol, liver health, men's sexual health, women's sexual health, leaky gut. Um, again, if you've got it or you can think of it, it's probably in here. Sleep, hemorrhoids, hair loss, energy, anti-aging, kidneys, uh, pain management for chronic pain, osteoporosis, sinusitis, asthma, allergy, Again, it's in here. So what I love about it, and I'm going to show it to you on the screen. So let's say you have a fungal infection, right? And you want a protocol to be rid of it or actually manage it in a way where it's not interrupting your daily life. What I love about it, and I'm seeing if you can see it, right? So if you can see for the fungal protocol, it literally breaks it down from Sunday all the way to Saturday. And it gives you exactly what you should be doing or considerations that you might want to make for your healing journey. And it tells you exactly what to do. So that's in the morning, that's in noon, that's in the afternoon, and that's in the evening. And all of this could be anything from herbal supplements to take, stretches, meditation, prayers, how much sleep, if you need probiotics, um, topical ointments to apply. And she puts in here Western, um, cons Western medicine com considerations, conventional treatment, and then she has other um, ways that she looks at it as well from an herbalist standpoint, which I can really, really appreciate. One thing I always want people to know as an herbalist is I'm not against Western medicine, but I do think it should be used um, not as a first resort if we can help it. So things that are not acute, like as long as you don't have a gunshot wound or a stab or a staph infection that's spreading really quickly or a fever that's completely uncontrollable and, you know, chronic illnesses such as cancer, HIV, um, yes, those might require a medical Western approach and there's no reason why you can't have both, right? But for a common cold, um, yeast infections, even women's health, men's health, um, anti-aging, a lot of the things I believe we can manage ourselves but first you need to know what to look for what to do and what steps to take and that's where books like this um, and other protocols can really really be helpful so as far as herbal education I have so many books that I love and so many books that I use to create formulas and just continue to um, grow my knowledge base on but I think it's important as a community that we start to incorporate and really rely on texts that are written so that we can better understand how herbs work herbs 
herbal combinations, protocols, you know, because this isn't written in stone, right? These are her protocols. But if you're coming from a more TCM um, standpoint, if you're using other techniques, you might have other protocols that you want to add or put in or things you want to switch or herbs that you want to switch. So I really, really love this book because it gives you a map and a guide way, guide way on how to treat issues. And I like it because it's in very simple language. So it's not overly medicalized so that you can't understand it because there are some books even herbalism books that are written that way but this really spells it out so that um as long as you're literate you can definitely follow it and education is so important for our field because it's how we grow i'm a big proponent of being a self-healer if you feel comfortable and if you feel called and led to this work and anytime i can share a resource that has been helpful for me i'll absolutely share it in hopes that it's helpful for you um i would love to do a deep dive if you guys have an issue and you want to deep dive in this book and I can film a video on it and we can talk about it let me know in the comments so if you're like I have leaky gut or I have brain fog or I'm going through menopause or I have erectile dysfunction or I want to learn how to manage holistically you know herpes or HIV or I have type 2 diabetes or I want to lose weight put that in the comments and I will go through this I'll make a video and go through this protocol and talk about what I know as well as an herbalist on how to manage those conditions so if you love this video please subscribe subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up. Please share it. I appreciate every single person in this community and we will talk soon. Have a great day and follow me. I'll put the links below. I'll also put my shop below um, because I am a herbalist who makes and sells goods as well. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at the same handle at spiritual apothecary underscore. And thanks so much for being here. Bye.